I have interacted with Monsignor for, I would say, more than 25 years. And so I've watched 3,000 units of housing that has been built. I've watched the daycare centers, the healthcare facilities, the job creations. And generally, when someone comes to visit from Washington, I start my tour on the block where the riots start. And I look to my left and began to tell the story of New Community and how they started changing, transforming the face of the Central Ward. The city of Newark would not be what it is today without New Community. It's community driven. There isn't a, a, a business plan, say, going out five years that says we want to do this, 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 and this. It's a community board of directors and it r really the decisions as to what comes next are based on community needs. The government doesn't have the resources to be able to do the things they would like to do. The private sector can't make profit out of it, so many of these things, job training, assistance and counseling, those things are being done by nonprofits in general, um, but in fact the new community has really excelled in being able to utilize those forces to be able to achieve goals for social, economic and even political purposes. worst race riots since those two years ago in the Watts section of Los Angeles rocked New Jersey's largest city, Newark, for five consecutive days and nights. Heading into 1967, the stage was set for something nearly catastrophic to happen. And that catastrophe, most unfortunately then and in retrospect, was a fratricidal warfare in the streets of Newark. People needed to control their lives. I think it's important to us, and we're not, we're not going to be content until we feel that we really have a say and a control on our lives. Clearly, after the riots in Newark, uh, there was a sense of hopelessness within the city of Newark. Uh, many people were flee fleeing the city, black and white alike. Um, the central ward was decimated. It was just like a ghost town. I mean, things were burned down. And Monsignor walked the streets. He was never harm. But he knew that something had to be done. Bill Linder and those who chose to follow him and to share his vision, they saw a city broken and they patched it back together. The community was looking for jobs, better housing. They were looking for daycare centers. They were looking for better health care. And little by little, as the leadership formed, new communities began to bring forth those ideas, those visions of the communities uh, to the people. And yes, I believe that the hopelessness started fading uh, because people saw that someone cared. I feel like New Community is my lifeline. That's how long I've been here and that's how they treat me with respect. New Community manages to touch any person at any point in their human development. Okay, so I'm going to hook it to saline, right? Okay, and I'm going to open the saline bag, and I'm going to let about how much run? 100. 100. Then once that runs, I then close the saline, and what am I going to open? You know, no matter how many things came in my life, this was my greatest gift, is being a part of Monsignor's dream. And not only being a part of his dream, but trying to make it work. You don't want his arms to go no. around your shoulders. Yours are going to go underneath. So if he falls, yes. a lot fall of our way. students have come from battered, battered homes. Have have um, come from some really sad, sad situations of, and yet still come to that classroom every day. So that's okay. He said you were beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's okay. You don't have to change the subject. He thinks you're beautiful. Okay. Thank you. You can sum yourself. So I'm yeah. going to help you. not think I am. <laughs> I really do feel like all those students, like they're all my family. They're my children. And so I can't just take care of the academic person. I've got to take care of everything that involves them. You can't do just one thing alone to make a difference. You have to have that wraparound experience to embrace families and embrace the community to be able to be helpful. What color is this? Blue. And what color is this? And you put them together and you get green. green. There you go. Okay, now let's show you how to open up the door again. Kylie, come join us. You can say what you want to say now. Come on. What did you want to tell me? Being raised by a mother with a mental illness was very difficult. I was neglected. And because my mother wasn't careful about the people that she let uh, care for me in her absence, I suffered some abuse physically, sexually. 
I know that some of our children are coming from abusive homes. So when they come into my care, I try to give them all of that love and concern that I wasn't given. And I try to let them feel safe and that you're going to have fun. You're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to smile. You're going to laugh. We're going to have a great day. You're the silly Tinkerbell clown. <laughs> Look in the mirror. That is so funny. Are you funny? I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> the real estate development at New Community has been the base by which we've been able to expand into many other areas. New Community began in housing, and New Community is still developing and building housing. We've built uh, housing for senior citizens, housing for families, and now we're doing some really interesting special needs housing. Completing a housing development in an urban center is, is challenging work, and so it does require you to be creative in, in working with every kind of funding opportunity that's out there while addressing also community needs. The one thing New Community has managed to do uh, quite well is, is to take their real estate assets and then to use those to leverage uh, important social and community services. New Community does focus on the entire family when somebody comes to us. That's really the reason why the services at New Community and the offerings at New Community are so comprehensive. If someone comes to our homeless shelter, to Harmony House, there's a large, big array of services that are available. There's daycare, so the children will be taken care of. There's job training. Someone could go into the LPN program. So that's something that each person in the family uh, can be touched by New Community in the way that, that mm -hmm. they need to. All right, I'm gonna take your blood pressure on this side. Now you can go and eat, right? Yeah. Let me give you some chicken too. New Community has really changed my life. If it weren't for New Community, honestly, I don't know why I could be. Joyce's case is that Monsignor stepped in when he found out she was homeless and brought her into the program. She has an LPN, licensed practical nurse. She's now going for RN in nursing, an associate's degree. Her daughter's in college. The high point for it was knowing that my mom could start getting on her feet and start, you know, stabilizing herself in order for us to be stable. I really owe your community a lot because they lifted me from nothing to something today that I can be proud of. It's contagious. The whole family begins to get the benefits of it. We will do despite anything else, what needs to be done to help these people move upward. Our whole society is based upon the assumption that this is going to be an era of opportunity. And upward mobility is kind of a key aspect of American uh, life. And therefore, you have to provide people with the tools and the opportunities to use their God-given talents to move forward. If you have someone who is dependent, and poor who needs help and services, and you have the possibility of moving them to the other side where they become a producer and a contributor, that's good for all of us. But we want to say, how do you say Dago in English? Okay? All the programs that have come to New Community have been about education. We had a saying here at New Community, from the cradle to the grave, there was something for everyone. There was learning on every level. The daycare centers, the grammar schools, getting your GED, the nursing programs, automotive program, teaching them how to fix cars. It's always been an um, atmosphere of learning at New Community. I'm a pilot for United Airlines, and I primarily travel to Europe. Children are very impressionable and they're very smart, so they know if you care about them, if you're taking the time, if you're really invested in making sure that they succeed. For anyone who um, is an educator in Newark, you know right away that the most informative years that a child will experience is when they're in the lower grades. It is important to catch children while they're young because at that age they are so impressionable and that is the duty of the parent and new community and the support systems that are out there to mold them and to show them the right way. 
back then when I was doing the wrong thing, you know, selling drugs, doing drugs, not taking care of my family, it wasn't a good feeling at all because I always kept on saying to myself, uh, I'm, you know, I'm dealing drugs, which means that I'm harming other people. I'm harming myself. And I just had to put an end to that. And that's when I got into NCC uh, with the automotive program. And from there on, everything's been positive. I'm one of the top techs at Jersey City Ford. And I just want to keep on moving up. How you feeling today? Okay. G59. <laughs> back to the top and come down to my finger. All right, you're all set. Good job. Okay. today. The reason why we need to help people in need is because the government can't do it all. And it has to be done within the community. And that's what Monsignor did. He empowered the people so that they could, in fact, help themselves. I think Monsignor is truly, deeply caring. It's not something that's superficial. I think that's why he's so successful. It's because he's truly what you see. Founder, yes, but more than a founder, uh, his spirit permeates this organization. And so many whites and blacks who believed that the poor had nothing to offer Newark's future, for him to challenge all of that um, is an incredible legacy and a long learning moment. Once you meet him, you know that whatever it is that he has set forth for, he's going to, he's going to accomplish it. So um, I'm not surprised that he was able to carry out a lot of his goals. And I know by having a conversation with him not too long ago that he's not finished. You don't have to worry about good things just happening in your own life. It's good th things happening in everybody's life and you're part of it. You know? That, I think, is the joy of living.